Hi, welcome to Marty White Guy Show. I'm Marty, and uh, I went to see the Super Mario Brothers film in the theater yesterday, and uh, I was watching the half a frickin' hour of, um, uh, what do you call them, for the other movies, the ads for the other movies. What do you, what do you call that? Anyway, um, they had an ad for the new Spider-Man movie, which, of course, Spider-Man is now a black kid, and there's a bunch of diversity, um, and it was a, a trailer, um, so you didn't get, of course, everything that was going on, but you got the crux of the idea, and I gotta tell you, it didn't look good. Uh, the visual style to me was kind of puzzling. Now, Spider-Man's been around for how many, how many, how many decades? There's been no shortage of Spider-Man films, even in recent years, and of course, you go back to the 80s or something, but plenty, and the same Raimi movies in the 90s and early 2000s. So you kind of got to get a new feel instead of rehashing the old stuff. Because back in the day, you know, he had what cinema quality and technical capacity was in the 80s or 60s, 70s, and... Um, Sam Raimi updated it with uh, computer graphics, so now you can actually see Spider-Man swooping around in the uh, New York and the skyscrapers, and it looked great. Football by the uh, standards of the time, and then you update that aesthetic. So, but that now it's been done, you see, and so they were going with instead of a CG, it was more uh, an animation kind of style, um, and it didn't look that hot. It didn't look that appealing to me. Now, I'm an old white dude. I'll be 41 later this month. So this isn't for me. Everything now is for the new kids, and that's and is what it is. Um, I don't know. It just... It, 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 it felt false. And it, it felt so detached from the Spider-Man lore, where you can't not ask, why not just make a new character? Why is it Spider-Man? And they mentioned like Uncle Ben and there was the old Spider-Man. I guess I'm, I'm assuming based on the trailer, you had the old Spider-Man is in and off the baton to the new Spider-Man. And then there was a bunch of different spider characters. And it's like... In the old Spider-Man, the dude accidentally, without meaning to, gets bit by a spider that it was part of some kind of experiment, the, the different variations on that. Um, and so he becomes Spider-Man, and he has to figure out his powers and all this stuff, and then go fight crime. And then there's the Green Goblin shows up, and all this kind of jazz. That, there, this, so now it's like a ghost, but a ghost writer, if you remember from the 90s, now there's a bunch of people, and it's just like, huh? I don't know, it, it just seems, it's, it, if you're going to go that far away, from Spider-Man, create a whole new character, which may, from what I can, again, it's just the trailer, so maybe that's what they were doing here, it's not the Spider-Man, it's another guy with Spider-Man-esque situation, I don't know, I couldn't really tell from what was going on there, but it just, to me, just not look, did not look intriguing, um, and then I was in the theater to see the Super Mario Brothers movie, which stuck very closely to call it lore. Uh, what the characters are doing are based on what the characters do in the in the video games, um, and it you know Mario was Mario, Luigi was Luigi. Um, they kind of combined the princess and Peach and made it to one thing, which is, I, I had no mentioned in another review. I had no qualms uh, with how that was approached. Uh, Bowser was Bowser and so forth, and Donkey Kong. Um, great, and it was based on it very closely to the video games. Now, the video games aren't previous established films, so you had to come up with a lot more there for the characters to do that felt video game-esque, and I thought they did a good job with this. But with the new Spider-Man, it's just like, okay, just create a whole new character and a whole new lore and maybe have that, you know, the two characters run into each other maybe that's what they're doing but it's just like i don't get it and so it's the whole race swap thing now spider-man's a black kid from high school um and then you had a lot of people who are black and hispanic and that kind of thing and it's still it's like create your own characters write it write your own stuff so 
Of course, financially, you attach it to the name Spider-Man. People are going to show up to see a Spider-Man film, but it isn't Spider-Man. Create a new character within the universe. Something. And they bailing on that shit because why? It doesn't work. People will go to see a Spider-Man film to see, I don't know, Spider-Man? You know? And so, I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted because it just it didn't look that good and it didn't seem that appealing to me. I, but at the same time, it's been done so many times in this century. 23 years now, we've had Spider-Man film and Spider-Man film. It's like, okay, you got to take a another direction at some point and get something else in there so again i'm reacting to the trailer not the film i don't think the film has come out yet um that's the point of the trailers so i don't know uh, it, it's just like and it's the same take a new freaking fracking approach it's the same thing every time of um you'd have you'd have to see it but it's like you know Black oppressed people, something, you know, women in the patriarchy, strong, dependent female. It's like, is this 1992? Like, we've done this for a long time. Do something else. Tell a different story. It's like, and again, they're like, it's it's for the new generation. It's like, oh, because we were doing this shit in my generation, which is back in the day. There's nothing new here. It's old. It's stale. Tell a different freaking story. So, again, it's a trailer. Give the film a chance. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. Something. But the trailer will look ass. I'm not in a hurry to go see it. But again, it's not for me. It's for the kids. It's for the new generation. But it's like, if you're going to do something for the new generation, if you're going to do something new... For the new generation, here's a hot idea. Do something new. Not rehash the old shit and then feed it to me and tell me it's something itself, something else. Because it isn't. It's the same old bitching about the same old bullshit. Ugh. And then, again, so, you know, diversity, inclusion... All that stuff you got to do, but you know, you're making that kind of any kind of money on it. So Super Mario Brothers, which I had my qualms with, I didn't, you know, old crank, cranky white guy in the film in the theater watching that. But I had to commend them; they made a film for the kids. What politics in there too much? There wasn't a lot. Of, it wasn't woke all over the place. Um. There's nothing about MAGA or Trump. It was just freaking the kids. It was fun and excitement and lights and energy and a lot of running around and things exploding. Okay, great. Good. Give the kids some fun. You only get to be a kid for a short period of time. Leave the politics. You, you know, you're done being a kid at what, 13, 14 or something? And then you get to deal with the horse shit of the whole goddamn world for the rest of your life. You get that brief window of time. Let the kids be kids. So, way to go, Super Mario Brothers, doing that. And if you're a 10 year old kid, you probably love that movie. Um, how many times are we doing this, Bill Burr? How many times are we making this movie? Can they write something else? Can they make something else? What's the What's the point? What's the goal? How many people are going to watch this and be like, yeah, I relate to a black Spider-Man did you have a problem relating, relating to the white guy? Uh -huh. I'm like, I don't know. So, um, I don't want to, I want to give it its due. I want to get it, it, give it its chance. But given that this is the upteenth freaking time in the last eight minutes that we're making another race swap. Now it's the blacker, hipper Spider-Man. And it's like, but the point is Spider-Man was, he was a dork. He was a Dorcas Malorcus who got superpowers and now he gets to be cool. So, you know, you weren't cool because you were black or something? I don't know. Black is cool. I don't, I have to see the film. Again, it's just a trailer. 
And I just, I was like, okay, if you're doing this, fine, but I'm going to stay home in Pornhub because I don't care. But it's not for me. It wasn't made for me. It was like, here, cranky old white guy, watch this. Um, so I guess that's John Wick 4. You know, does John Wick, I don't, I don't know what Keanu Reeves is. He's like part Hawaiian. But I thought he's just a white dude. It's like, does, you know, can you not go to a John Wick film and then just enjoy the shoot 'em up? Or does he have to be a black guy to be, I don't know. Somebody tell me. Comment in the comment section. But the new black Spider-Man movie just looked like woke ass. So, if you saw it and you, hey, actually it was pretty good, let me know. Cheers.